Okay, this is for Maggie Weedman West. You're asking about strength training for your uh, for your daughter, U14. I think, like, the, the effortless and the fastest way to help your daughter develop strength is to is to lead by example, right? Because then it's effortless, right? Anything you try and, you, you know, ki their kids, kids in general, and and your children will mimic and, and, and copy everything you do in general, whether you want them to or not, right? And it's, it's because it's learned behavior and the models around them, the people who they spend time with, they're gonna uh, adapt to their habits usually, right? All things being equal. So um, some things that you can do that will help her improve, right? You gotta, you gotta take immediate action and, and she'll learn much faster. And it'll be like, you know, if you both, if you both spend some time, even a few minutes a day on some type of strength training, um, you guys can learn together and, you know, grow, grow, grow your, her game, your game, together and um, the first thing that I would suggest is actually investing in minimalist shoes because they say you gotta invest disproportionately in your bed and your shoes because you spend most of your time, you'll spend most of your time in either one. And since mattresses are much more expensive than shoes, shoes are a great place to start. So my new personal favorite is Glurups. They're called Glurups and they don't advertise themselves as minimalist shoes for soccer training, but I think that's exactly what they are. And you also don't have to wear socks in them. So it's just one less thing to think about. They're bendable. Um, I wear these, right? There's a trinity of work, of work, um, going out and tr training that I think these all fit into. So this is my everyday shoe. This is my going out for a nice dinner, for breakfast, um, and also I work at these things. I own one pair of shoes, and these are the glare ups. Um, and they're, you know, they have a wa slightly wider profile, which allows your feet to expand a little bit, um, right? You can bend them, they don't restrict foot, toe mobility. So I just, you know, I just fell in love with these glare ups, so for what it's worth. Um, Learning, you want to search, or what I would do, I would search how to make an RMT rope, and you guys can both make one together, right? You want to, in, you want to invest in a length of rope that's a little bit longer, a, l a little bit longer than your, a little bit longer than you are tall, right? So if you're six feet tall, maybe six and a half feet, or you could just use a jump rope. And what you eventually want to lead up to, just search RMT rope plus David Weck, W-E-C-K, and you're gonna learn all about it. But basically what the RM RMT rope does is that it, harmonize, it harmonizes your movement, your body's movement, right? Because as you swing it, it helps you develop, it helps you synchronize your movement with your body. It also helps your spine bend and twist and the alternating underhand sneak specifically, David Weck says this is the most important pattern to learn because it, it forces you to do two pulses of balance on the inside and the outside of your, of your foot. So it's a little different than the traditional jump roping, tradi traditional jump roping, but super powerful, super powerful because I noticed personally that my juggling improved, which improved my passing, my shooting, my timing, my rhythm. It's just, it's just something I learned too late in life, I, I think. But you know, it's 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 there. It's low impact. It gets you into a sprinter's, into a sprinter's pose. So it's going to help your running mechanics because it's going to help you whip your arms down, whip your arms up. So so, and it's. It's, it's actually visually intimidating. When you start to whip a rope around, it's like, you know, I brought my rope to Europe when we were traveling and, you know, 
pickpocketers or, you know, no one wants anything to do with you if they think it looks like you know Kung Fu because you're, sw sw you're, we you're basically weaponizing a length of rope. So, right, we had, we had no problems while I was whistling, you know, this rope's moving so fast it starts whistling. So no one wants anything to do with you and um, that's a good thing when you're traveling on the road um, and you don't want to be harassed by anyone. So strength. Um, Ido Portal. Ido Portal. I got two names. I got two more names for you. Ido Portal. It's all about movement. You know, he he's probably one of the best m movers. If that's a, you know, if that's a category. Um, but just for in terms of a soccer warm up, ha having having her think a little bit about a warm up, right? Um, most players most players don't spend enough time warming up, right? The, it, you know, in the history of soccer players, of the of the best soccer players of all time, all the best soccer players in the world, the first hour of their training routine is is light jogging, dynamic stretching, and juggling, right? And that's if you look at all the data and what's known about Messi, Pele, Maradona, and Mbappe, right? So. Um, we know this to be a fact. We know it to be a fact. So, so, but so check out Edo Portal. Search locomotion beginner warm up. Um, and this is probably one of the most dynamic warm ups that money can't buy because it's free online. Um, you could also search Dmitry Klokov, K L O K O V. Twenty fourteen, his twenty fourteen warm up. This guy's an absolute freak. So this is a simple. You know, a simple warm up that um, that I, you know I found a long time ago, and he, you know he's he's one of the strongest people for his age and, and weight on earth. You could check out Seven Postures, Seven Postures by Kador Ziani, Z I A N I. Search Seven Postures on on YouTube or whatever, and um, these Seven Postures completely changed my life. Even after I found out all the postures, I still bought the book. The book is 30 bucks, but I say it's worth more than its weight in gold because it's gonna prevent future pain, future injuries, future time to, you know, trainers and doctors and blah, you know, just wasting time away when it's like, even this position I'm in right now, this is a called, uh, well, I forget what it's called, but just, I just gained this ability where I can start you can start to sit on your foot, and now I'm unlocking the, my ankle, right? My ankle, uh, t tibia, com like this ankle tibia complex, it's helping relieve tension in my quad, which connects, you know, to your, to your glute and across through your lower back. So it's like just these postures that help you um, live more, It's like passive. It's like passive restoration for soccer players is what it is, because uh, I'm almost I'm almost releasing tension through sitting in my body, and I'll rotate. Right, you rotate. So that's another resource. Zayani, seven postures. This guy, he's uh, uh, 49 years old. He can still dunk on a 10 foot hoop. He's probably one of the most athletic 49 year olds. In the world because he can he doesn't just talk the talk he walks the walk too and you know all his videos are online so that's a great resource to check out he's and he's five he's five nine and he can still dunk on a 10 foot hoop very you know he's got a wiry figure but you can see just how the quality of his stretching has influenced his ability to move dynamically and still maintain longevity through time so those would be my places to start, right? Because all of those things, the RMT rope, and then Ido, Klokov, and Zayani, all, you don't need anything to do any of those, any of that warm up and movement, right? And then Ido Portal teaches you stuff about hanging, how you can spend some time ha hanging with one arm, two arms, swinging, right? Kind of like a monkey. You think about monkeys, how strong they are, and they're just spending a lot of time 
you know, swinging from trees and just ha doing monkey things with their monkey friends. And the last thing I'll share is, um, um, uh, knees over toes guy, Ben Patrick has great resources. He puts out so much free content. He's got two books. One is called knee ability zero. The other is ATG for life. But you know, the uneasy thing to start implementing from him is R O K P as a cool down or a warm up, And all it stands for is reversing out of knee pain, but it's not just about knee pain. It's the angle. Most people spend most of their time walking forwards, right? And that makes the foot act in a certain way. So reversing out of knee pain basically allows your feet to work. It's like contrast training because instead of going forwards, now you're going backwards, right? And going backwards is going to help um, restore the toes, the ankle, Achilles, right? Your whole your whole body, your whole body just through walking walking backwards. So I I started using that for a cool down, um, but you could use it for a warm up. Um, so those are great places to start. But the key is that you take action to start to do these with your daughter. Because if you just tell her, you just tell her to start. Oh, you know, do this or do that. It's like, you know. It's it's not it's not an easy sell, especially if she doesn't see you you doing it. So you could tell her to do it, and that that'll be less effective than if you start doing it with her, or you make an RMT rope with her, or you know you you if she just sees you swinging a rope around, she's gonna say, huh, that's interesting, and then she starts to see your maybe your physique change, and she starts to see you making better health and strength decisions, sees you start taking the stairs instead of the escalator, the stairs instead of the elevator. She sees you start riding the bicycle more. You know, you start doing, you do one push up after dinner or you do one push up after breakfast or you do one, you know, start just doing, do one. That's how you start, right? Because starting is the hardest thing, right? Here, I'll start for you. We're gonna do, we're gonna do one push up. Ah, right? So just do one and then get it going with all those things. So hopefully this helps and uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.